biggest South Asian media group, Y Media. Hello everyone, my name is Yudhir Jaswal, I'm the group editor at Y Media. And once again, we have a very special guest here at Channel Y Studios. I'd like to welcome Member of Parliament, Ruby Sota. Ruby Ji, a very warm welcome. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, Yudhir. Thank you for having me on your show again. Uh, Premier Doug Ford, he's mentioning he recently spoke at Y Media and it was uh, he said that ask your federal MPs and I'm sure there was tweet, mm -hmm. tweets going on uh, you know on, on that particular issue so he says it's the federal government which is blocking us from doing the highway 413 and yeah. they're very much committed as a matter of fact Premier Ford the first time that he made an announcement was right here at Channel Y Studios when he said we're going ahead with 413 and now he's saying that we will do that ask your federal MPs yeah, sure. I mean, I think they recently had some controversy at Queen's Park as well over, um, you know, allowing trucks onto the 407, which would be a great immediate relief um, for, for our people. I think that's a great idea. I hope they move ahead with that as well. Uh, when it comes to the 413, I have nothing against the 413. Uh, however, there is an environmental impact assessment. And our city of Brampton has written to the federal government, our mayor, our councillors, and many organizations in Brenton um, that opposed the 413 and environmental organizations. And the impact assessment is a um is an independent body that takes these concerns and applications and due to um, due to the impacts of certain species being becoming extinct. Uh, it has risen to the level where they designated an assessment to be done. That doesn't mean it will not pass and not be built. Um, but for in order for the assessment to be done, uh, some plans have to be submitted as to what the project is. So all of those organizations and everyone that had objections did submit to the uh, impact assessment agency. Uh, the Ford government has yet to submit their plans. Uh, I think they are being stubborn and, and that's fine. Maybe that's the way they want to operate, but they're not submitting their plans. And uh, so things are at a, uh, at a standstill. I, I'm hoping they submit their plans, things get approved and we can move on and they can build the 413. Yeah, because even the court said uh, the federal government was out of, out of its jurisdiction in, in this case. I, I saw a court ruling in this as well and we had yeah. Minister Sarkaria also on, on our Y Media. Minister Sarkari was saying uh, the federal government never they have done all these things, uh, assessments in these types of things. So why would they, well, why would they overstep? Assessment yeah, was even done for the Milton CN plant, uh, the CN yard that was created in Milton. An assessment was done for that. It was approved through the assessment process. But talking about the and, highway. And the CN, pl uh, the CN you know, yard is being built now. So mm -hmm. assessments have been done before in many, many different types of projects across this country. Mm -hmm. um, and talking the, especially of highway. No highway was subject to any kind of well, no highway has been built in the last, um, you know, uh, since this agency has been created, 90, no highway has been built. 1997, that was the last time when yeah. uh, Highway 407 was built. But no, you're right, uh, no highway has been actually built after 1997. Yes. Go so ahead. I. Yeah. I would love them to continue on, but I mean, it's an unfair, th unfair thing to say because no other highway submission has ever been made, right? Um, and I have to say at the time, like our city also uh, was against the plan and so they may have changed the way they feel about that. But anyways, the process is the process. I think we all know in Canada, we can follow an independent process and the result of the process, we could all uh, agree with and move forward. And uh, so I'm hoping that we can just do the process. Um, however, they don't want to do the process. So that's that, that's the impasse that we're at right now. Um, I would like nothing more than for them to be able to um, clear this process and, and, and do whatever they wish within their mandate. The Supreme Court ruling that you mentioned, it's not fully clear uh, in terms of their decision. It's not completely clear, but that is something that we are um, having reevaluated. So uh, I think maybe we can come back and, and talk about like the next time we have that a clear answer as to where things are headed on that. Um, I'd be the first to come here and announce, you know, if, if this assessment was passed and uh, the 413 is given the go ahead. Um, then I'm sure they'll come to the federal government not having the cash to build it. So uh, I, I do think to some degree there is some politics being played with, with the issue. Yeah, no, but the ruling clearly said that, that the uh, federal government is out of its jurisdiction. But anyways, we'll quickly move on to the other topic. Mm -hmm. The biggest South Asian media group, Why Media. Why?